what if you could track human movement from another room wirelessly using radar not just movement it will show exact distance angle and speed live on a touch screen with a real radar like animation sounds futuristic i have built it using the rd day 03d mm wave radar and the mhh esp32 s3 parallel tft 5 inch touch display in my previous video i introduced the rd day 03d mm wave radar module i covered everything from how it works to wiring and detailed decoding of the radar data. I didn't just stop at decoding the radar data. I went one step further and extracted the actual distance and angle values and printed them live on the serial monitor. And let me tell you, the accuracy of this sensor genuinely blew my mind. The values were incredibly stable and precise that gave me the confidence to try something more advanced. So, I integrated the RD-03D MM wave radar module into a real-world project where I used human presence detection to control a bulb. The idea was simple. When the sensor detects a person within a certain range, it turns the light on. And when the person moves away, it automatically turns the light off. It was a practical demo of how this tiny radar module can be used for smart home automation without relying on cameras, PIR sensors or any bulky setup. And here's what makes this sensor truly special. It's not just a motion sensor, it's a real human presence detection sensor. Even if someone is sitting or standing completely still, without making any visible movements, the sensor can still detect that person. That's the power of rd 03D millimeter wave radar module. It can sense micro movements that regular motion sensors simply can't detect. Today, I'm taking that same module and building a fully portable, wireless, real-time human tracking radar system. We are using the exact same wiring, but this time, I have modified the code turning it into a powerful two-part system. One device X is the radar transmitter and the other, a touchscreen ESP32-S3 display receives and visualizes the data in real time. On the transmitter side, the rd 03D radar sends raw data via UART. I extract the X and Y positions, convert them to distance and angle, and also get the speed. Then I format this into a simple comma-separated string distance, angle, speed. This makes it super easy to pass on the receiver side. Once the data is ready, I broadcast it wirelessly using UDP or Wi-Fi. But why Wi-Fi and why UDP? Well, Wi-Fi allows us to create a completely wireless system, no need for physical cables or serial connections between devices. That means more freedom, more portability, and a cleaner setup. As for UDP, it's lightweight and designed for real-time communication. It doesn't require handshakes or acknowledgement like TCP does, so the data gets sent almost instantly with minimal delay. And even if a single packet drops occasionally, it doesn't affect the system much because we are sending new radar data multiple times per second. This combination of Wi-Fi plus UDP is perfect for fast, responsive, real-time radar system. On the receiver side, we define the radar screen dimensions center position and radius which helps us later draw the radar arcs, grid lines and place the red dot precisely based on target distance and angle. We have created functions like draw radar grid line at angle and draw radar arc at radius to draw the classic radar style circular grid. Just like you would see on military or airport radars and for extra polish we display distance labels and feet around the radar. Another function draw target info shows the real-time numerical values at the top of the screen, distance, angle and speed. All in bright yellow so you can clearly monitor the target data as it streams in. The draw target function places a red dot on the radar based on the incoming angle and distance. If you move, the red dot moves with you, just like a real radar screen tracking a moving object. And to make it even more dynamic, we add a sweeping animation using the draw radar sweep rail function. This creates a green radar beam that fades as it moves, just like in the movies. The loop listens to any incoming data packets, decodes the comma-separated string, and extracts the distance, angle, and speed, which are then passed to the draw functions. That means every red dot, every sweep, every number you see on the display is coming in live from the rd 03D radar module via Wi-Fi. And remember, all of this is running on this single touch display with a built-in ESP32-S3, no PC, no external controller. It's a complete package, code, display and Wi-Fi, all in one. 
you can download the complete code circuit diagram and step-by-step -step instructions from my website electronicclinic.com and if you need the project source codes and all the other resources you can download it from my patreon page let's test it i move in front of the radar and look, the red dot follows my position based on distance and angle. The values on top update in real time as I walk, all wirelessly. This is next level tracking. Compact, smart and portable. Now, you have probably seen radar scanning projects that use ultrasonic sensors connected to laptops. But here's the problem. The controller stays wired to a PC. The laptop must stay on constantly. It's not portable, not energy efficient and not practical at all. My setup, fully standalone. The receiver is a single touchscreen board with a built-in ESP32 S3. You can carry it anywhere in your house. Power it using a battery. No PC required, no cables, just freedom. Now let's look at a real life use case. I take the ESP32 S3 touchscreen receiver to my room and start monitoring my lab remotely. Suddenly, I notice movement on the radar. I walk in to check and guess what? My brother is there talking on the phone. This is how you can remotely detect presence wirelessly in real time. This radar system is more than a demo. It's a foundation. A foundation for home automation, security, elderly care, or motion triggered alerts. And it's fully portable, customizable, and battery friendly. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.